All right, so in our previous video, we've set up these sign up links, which take us to a specific plan selected by default. Now for this video, we will be setting up our protected content. So before doing this, let's sign up to an account in order to be able to access our logged in area. So I'm going to click get access. I'll sign up for a free account for now. Admin at inframer.com and click continue to check out. Okay. Complete sign up. It's going to send you a confirmation email. So I'll go to my email. So I will set up a password. And finally, we'll be logged into our dashboard. All right. So this is our profile. As you can see, it's showing up for logged in users. Let's click it. You see, we have the options to change our name, email, password, upload a profile photo. A few account options. You could change your plan from here. You could also add a card. All right. This is our logout link. And this is our dashboard. As you can see, I've set up three pages in here. All right. So we have free content, starter content, pro content. Right now, we still didn't add any restrictions. So anyone would be able to access this content. As you can see, starter, pro. So in this video, what we want to do is to restrict access level based on the membership plan. So free accounts would only be able to access free content. Starter accounts would be able to access starter content and free content. And finally, pro accounts would be able to access all of the content. So pro, starter, and free content. All right. So how do we set this up? Let's go to out set again. Okay. Go to your odd and go to protected content. All right. Now click add protected content. Since we have three access levels, right? Three plans, I'll create protected content uh, for each of these plans. So I'll say free content, right? And what do we want to add in here? Okay. Which URLs are hidden? So if you go to Framer, you see it. I have this page. Okay. This is just an example. You could have more, uh, which is a free video. Okay. I have this page for starter. So in our case, we want uh, to add this to free, right? So let's say slash free. Okay. I'm going to add another URL, which is our dashboard. Okay. And the reason I add it in here is so that locked out users aren't able to access our dashboard since by default. Now, if you're logged out, you're still be able to access our dashboard, right? Okay. So this is our dashboard. If we try to access it, it will take us to this upgrade dash free uh, page. It will redirect us where we have our three plans. Okay. So now Atseta is asking us for an access denied URL. So if this, uh, User doesn't have access to these pages. Where should we redirect them? I've already set up three pages for you. Upgrade free. Okay. Upgrade starter and upgrade pro. All right. So in this case, if you don't have any membership plan to ask you to choose either one of these three. So for now, upgrade free. We will use it as our access denied URL for this content. Okay. Which plans and add-ons have access to this group? Okay. So for the free content, we want to allow all of our plans to have access, right? So free can access the free content. We also need to add starter. Otherwise starter wouldn't be able to access free content. Okay. 
And finally, we add Pro. So all of these three have access to our free content. Okay, save. And this is it. Now let's add another protected content. I'll call it starter content. Okay. And which URLs we want to hide. Remember, you could add as many URLs as you want. Okay. So in Framer, this is our page. This is the starter page. Okay. So I'm going to go here and say starter. Okay. So this page equals starter. And for the access denied page, if we don't have access to starter. In this case, we have our upgrade dash starter. So let's add this URL. Now, which plan add-ons uh, have access to this group? In this case, starter and pro, because pro have access to all groups. Okay. And click save. Before I save, I want to show you a little trick. So in here we said equals. So this means if our page equals starter, maybe you have a hundred pages, right? You don't want to set them all up in here. You could do a little trick, say starts with, okay. Now we will treat this as a folder. Okay. So anything that starts with starter, maybe our page is called something like this. I don't know. Right. So like this, you are protecting hundreds of pages, whichever page that starts with starter. So, uh, you could set it up starts with, okay. Then later on, if you have other pages, so in this case, you could have starter slash, I don't know, video one or content one. Okay. Now, if you duplicate this one, all right, I hope I'm making sense, but it's, it's very useful. So let's say this is video two. Now you don't need to go every time to Outsetter and set all of your pages because now if it starts with starter, right? then it's going to be protected by this access lab. This way you add all of your content pages that are started. Just append this starter slash before it. Okay. I'm going to revert the changes, but I just wanted you to know about this, this option. Okay. I'll keep it equal for now and I'll click save. All right. So now let's set up our last protected content, which is our pro content. Hidden URL, in this case, it's the pro page, this one. Okay, access denied. We have upgrade dash pro, which is this page. Okay. And who has access to this content? Only pro users have access, right? Click save. And this is it. You've now added your protected content in Outsetter. Let's go to Framer and give it a try. Publish, update. Now refresh. Remember before we got access to all of these. Now, if you go to your profile, you can see we've signed up as free plan. Okay. So now if you access free content, it's available. If you go back to the dashboard, click starter content. You see now we do not have the correct access level. We're using free plan. So it's asking us upgrade to a starter or pro membership to view this. Okay. So let's go back to the dashboard. The same should happen with pro. So upgrade to a pro membership to view this. 
So this is how you protect content based on the access level, the membership level. Okay. Now let's try to upgrade our plan from our profile. Go to plan, change plan. I'm going to upgrade to starter and complete change plan. Your profile has been updated. Let's give it a try. Now click starter content. And you see, we already have access to starter content. Again, if we try pro, it's not going to work because we haven't upgraded. But yeah, this is it. This is how you manage access level. So I'm going to go again, plan, change my plan to pro. And now we have access to pro content.